and that he was in prison when this unfortunate child died, was murdered, and he clearly couldn't have done it. And Rosemary had a problem. It was the vital evidence the police needed to convict Rose. But there was a hitch. The police couldn't find a photograph of Charmaine that showed her teeth. Without it, Professor Whitaker couldn't determine the date of her death. And without a date, Rose West would get away with murder. Before he killed himself, Fred West confessed to the murder of 12 women. Nine were found at Cromwell Street, and now two more burial sites had been uncovered. Rena Costello, Fred's first wife, and her friend, Anne McFall, had been found under the fields at Much Markle. And now Charmaine, Fred's eight-year-old stepdaughter, was being exhumed from 25 Midland Road. With Fred West dead, and no evidence to link Rose directly to murder, it looked like the Wests could escape justice. The police needed to convict Rose of murder. They needed to prove their hunch that Rose killed Charmaine while Fred was in prison. To prove this, the police had to find a photograph of Charmaine showing her teeth, so Professor Whitaker could match it to her skull and work out the date of her death. Well, I, I was actually sort of almost in despair. The, the, the really sort of professional answer that I wanted to be able to give, or well, two professional answers, who is it and when did she die? I couldn't answer either of them. Then Professor Whitaker had a stroke of luck. A fax intended for Rose West's defence team was sent to him by mistake. I couldn't believe it. Out came, not a kind of sort of document, you know, which I could sort of look away from and, you know, turn it over and take away. It was a photograph. And it kept coming out, you know, as faxes do, and it came bigger and bigger and bigger. It was the photograph of Charmaine West that we'd been looking for for months and months and months. The police were also able to locate the photographer, who not only remembered the session, but also had a record of the date he'd taken it. This was the breakthrough they needed. Now that they had a reference point, Professor Whitaker could measure the amount of growth in Charmaine's teeth between the time the photo was taken and the point where growth had stopped. This gave him a probable date for Charmaine's death. The police had proved their hunch. Fred was in prison at the time. Finally, the case against Rose was building. Now they had a jury to convince. Rose West's trial began in Winchester in October 1995. Accused of 10 counts of murder, she pleaded not guilty to all charges. The prosecution needed an ace card. Caroline Roberts was asked to take the stand. I thought, right, you know, I'm an adult now. Back then, I couldn't have handled it, but now I can handle this. I'm going to do it. What had happened to me had happened to these girls, and I wanted to at least get justice for them. And this time, I didn't care what anybody said or thought about me. I was going in there, and I was going to stand up to them. I knew she wasn't innocent. When I was attacked, the nearest I came to death was at her hands. And so I, I knew she was capable of murder. Had the combination of Caroline's strong witness statement and Professor Whitaker's evidence from the photograph helped to swing the jury. The jury came back. Rose West was found guilty on 10 counts of murder. The trial judge in sentence her said she should never be released. She is always, from that time, and continues to do so, maintain her innocence. Juanita Mott, Therese Siegenthal. Linda, if I know that Rosemary West was sexually abused as a child by her father, and I know that when she was 15, she was abducted from a, a bus stop and raped, and that four years later, when she was 19, that's what happened to Lucy. Catherine Costello. And I, gradually, as the years have gone by, I've, 
I felt more compassion for her. Lucy Partington. And I do hope that something of her life can be healed. The thing about Rosemary West is that she was in effect a blank canvas. And the thing that Frederick West did was to provide a platform, to provide a runway that she flew from. He was able to nurture her, to encourage her, to, if you like, show her the way. What he didn't anticipate, I'm quite sure, but what enormously gratified by was the fact that she flew past him. In 1996, the police supervised a five-day demolition of 25 Cromwell Street. Speculation about other bodies, other possible victims of the Wests never found by the police, continues to this day.